progress. Hey, Amir, um, it seems like you guys expended a lot of energy uh, coming back in that third quarter. Um, what allowed you to come back in that third quarter and what kind of faltered there in the fourth quarter that you were scoring? Uh, we just switched up our defense uh, uh, tactic a little bit on Jokic. Um, and it really just came down to playing harder than they were. Uh, we just found a flow a little bit and went on the run of ourselves. What was the toughest part about um, Nicola? We seemed to be, you know, on the offensive glass the whole time. Really yeah. just caused some trouble for you guys. Yeah, he's a tough guard. Um, he's an excellent passer, so they do a lot of cutting um, back screens and get, try to get a lot of layups. So, um, you know, it, it, he's a tough guard. We uh, we do a couple of different tactics at him. Um, try to throw him off his pivot a little bit, but, uh, you know, he had a good game. Time. A lot of guys are getting some run, some yeah. of the young guys especially. Is this something that, um, I mean, it is something you're going to have to get used to, but how do you get used to it? Um, just next man up mentality. Uh, you know, guys are putting in work every day, uh, you know, through practice and everything. So, um, you know, people are ready. Guys are ready. And uh, yeah, it's just next man up mentality. When your name is called, you got to be ready to play. Did, did you say anything to you guys um, after, after the diagnosis of any kind of so um, spirits up or anything? Or, or any advice from a... From a or his advice on playing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's just, he's a natural leader, uh, whether he's playing or not. Um, you know, he, he's in the huddles, um, giving his giving his two cents on everything, talking to us in the locker room. Uh, you know, so whether he's playing or not, he's still with us. And and how about Serge? Like having him on the court with you, uh, obviously, like he spent some time in the G League, but yeah. um, he, he seems to be doing a lot of communicating. And, and yeah, um, yeah, big fella. Uh, you know, he's he's a voice of the defense when he's down there. So. Um, you know, he's, again, a natural leader as well. Uh, does a lot of talking, communicating with us. Um, and that's what we need from him. Hey, Amir, uh, you mentioned they like to cut a lot off of Jokic in the post and stuff like that. Yeah. You guys were very aggressive jumping past lanes. You had the steal leading the dunk. Is, is it kind of like a little bit of like trying to be aggressive but also not fall prey to the back cuts and yeah. stuff? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's kind of a cat and mouse game. You know, whether you're sending a double to him, you have to make the right rotations. Um, you know, they send a lot of cutters. So, um, you know, low man has to be there. But it, it's kind of a cat and mouse game, um, you know, trying to make them do certain passes hard to do. So um, just trying to be in the right spots. You've been with the team for a couple of years. You've been under Ty for a couple of years. This year he's talked about how the team, he wants them to get out more in transition and stuff. Is yeah. that where you feel like you can kind of give the team a little bit of juice in transition? For sure. Um, you know, getting off the, off the boards um, or running my lane. Um, you know, just playing with energy, getting uh, buckets. That's what we all try to do. Um, you know, we love getting easy ones, uh, one through five. So we all run after we get the rebound. Um, what have you learned about Brandon in your time as, as his teammate? He's a hooper. Um, I mean, you can't say anything else. He's a hooper. Uh, you know, good IQ for the game, good feel. Uh, he'll go get you a bucket. Uh, he, he's been pretty solid for us. And like the last, his last shot of the game, I mean, is it designed to let him do his thing or? Uh, I mean, they, they kind of took us out of what we wanted to do. Um, but again, you know, we got confidence in Brandon. Um, you know, he's trying to make a play, just didn't work out. But, um, you know, we, we had a play drawn up. They guarded it pretty well. What are you guys putting an emphasis on when Marcus, Reggie, PG are out? What are you guys putting an emphasis on? Just playing together, man. Um, it's going to be a lot of. It's going to be a lot of different um, rotations, a lot of different matchups. So it's kind of a, it's a stay ready year with everything that's going on. Um, like I said, it's just a next man up mentality. Um, and everybody's locked in. So, um, yeah. Are you guys like running more plays though? Is it more of a, you know, like time running more plays for you guys, calling more plays, more sets? Or are you guys, what, what's the difference, I guess, without those guys in terms of the play calling kind of thing? Um, I mean, it's kind of a little bit of both. Um, you know, Ty gives us the freedom to, to make our own plays. Uh, you know, sometimes we want to slow it down and get into our sets. Uh, and other times we just try to get out in transition. So um, it's kind of just going along with the feel of the game. Hey, there. Uh, the two steals, uh, obviously the pick six was the big one. But uh, what in this defense allows you to be more aggressive? Because that is a big part of getting out in transition yeah. in the first place. Um, I mean, in, in a game like today, uh, when we were sitting two at uh, at the big fella, um, there's a lot of rotations that had to be made. So um, I just try to see if I could jump a couple of them. Um, and sometimes just being in the right spot at the right time. 
Um, yeah. What sort of offensive skills do you feel like you've been able to develop over the past year, you know, in this offense with Ty? What was that? What sort of skills do you think you've been able to develop in this offense with Ty over the last year that you didn't have in your, in your um, bag last year? Yeah. Like I said, um, Ty lets everybody play, uh, play freely. So, um, you know, everybody, he lets everybody play through the strengths. Um, and for me, like I said, it's kind of getting on the transition a little bit um, and playing within the offense. Um, you know, one through five can be aggressive, make plays. So, um, you know, we have our sets that we run, but at, at the end of the day, you got to make a play, you got to make a play. So um, he just wants everybody to be aggressive and uh, look for your shot if you have, if you don't get off the ball. Uh, 